Yo, what is up gamers? Welcome back to the channel, Erock here. So I've been playing around and testing some guns and apparently not many of you know about this carbine conversion kit that practically makes the X13 into an SMG and a very capable SMG at that, especially as a secondary. It is actually based on a real carbine kit for the Glock, which is available from several brands that make them of course, this specific in-game one, it is not based on any of those, but it is sort of a, a fictional version. Anyway, I'll show some clips from my testing at the end of the video, but first I'll show you what attachments you have to put on. And of course, the first thing you must do is unlock the X13 Auto. But after that, if you level it up fully, you'll have access to all or most of the attachments that are required. So we're gonna start with the attachments now. So for the barrel, this is the crucial one, you have to put on the impact point barrel. As you can see, it gives you expanded gunsmithing options and improved recoil control as well as hip fire accuracy. So we put that on, that is uh, the essential uh, a bit of kit on this gun to make it into an SMG like weapon. Second of all, we're going to go for the stock. This is the stock that I go on this setup, the XLK bar stock. It improves your crouch, movement speed, your recoil control, your sprint speed and your aiming stability. Sprint speed and um, recoil control being the two most important ones here. Then after that, we put on a magazine. Now you have the two options. You go for the 33 round mag or the 50 round mag obviously every time i'm going to go for the 50 round a drum mag because it just gives you uh, a lot of that ammo means you don't have to reload every time but you can of course also go for the 33 around mag i'm going to put that on and then muzzle we're going to put on a muzzle i like this ft steel fire attachment that improves the bullet velocity and damage range although it does matter less for this gun because the damage range is quite poor at range up close it is very very good as you'll see but um the further the enemy is of course it won't do as well but we're going to put this on anyway because i like the looks and i like that it um, suppresses your fire after that you have two options you can either put a under barrel attachment or as i like to put on i do uh put on the f JX Diode 70, which improves your aim down sight speed, which is crucial, and your sprint to fire speed. Also your aiming stability, although that's less crucial. And your uh, build, your SMG, is complete. And this is going to be really crucial for people like snipers because that means you don't have to carry an extra SMG and waste that perk slot. You can just instead carry this. Now, as you can see, this weapon is extremely useful at short range. It is effective at long range, but much, much less effective. But what this means in practical terms is, uh, for example, if you're a sniper and before you had to run an SMG, now you don't have to run that SMG. You can just equip this weapon and that acts as your SMG. Now, for me, it becomes an almost must pick secondary because nothing else compares to it. Now could you argue that this weapon is overpowered? Yes I think you could but it remains to be seen how people use it when people unlock it and how they use it online and how effective it is basically. Anyway thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so and I'll see you guys in the next video. Seriously, if you don't subscribe, you're a big ass goat. And you don't want to be a big ass goat, okay? That's just, um, yeah, that's just reserved for certain types of gamers that you do not want to be. You do not want to be a big ass goat. Subscribe, motherfucker.